Hi everyone, this is Ronnie. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming back, watching uh, this channel, these videos. And what I want to talk about today is a little concept that might help you out with making changes in your life if you're looking to make changes with your diet and your health and everything else. And there's really two different ways of looking at it, but one one way of looking at it is this kind of this concept is that is the concept of waiting until all the lights are green and the other way of looking at it is the ready fire aim strategy or philosophy however you want to however you want to put that and what both of these mean is that really that people are waiting for everything to be perfect before they go ahead and do something and it applies to almost every dis every kind of big decision people make, or vaguely big decision. They're waiting for the right moment, the right opportunity. They're looking to put things off. We're, we're thinking that down the line there'll be a better situation. Uh, we're, we're thinking that we're going to do something next year or whatever. And I have to be quite careful with people because it's really tempting when someone says to you do you want to do this or do that it's really tempting to say oh maybe next year you know rather than say no <laughs> it's really tempting to say well maybe we'll do it next year or maybe we'll do it you just you don't really want to do it and you're trying to blow it off or whatever but what i'm really talking about is with making change and making decisions and it's never going to be perfect and if you're thinking right now you're waiting for more money to come in or you're waiting for a different job, you're waiting for a different person to come along, you're going to move somewhere else, you're waiting for the season to change. Usually a, a lot of these things are, if you really think about it, are just your own fears or excuses from making that change and doing something about it because you can really find a way to do almost anything you want to do um, if, especially if you commit to it so the second part is to actually make to do something that's actually an act of commitment to that change and for a lot of people um, that would be something like making some kind of financial investment or a time investment or handing in a notice that you're going to leave a job or something um, or putting in an application or marrying someone or whatever it is making some kind of definite commitment or step towards commitment and Sorry, I'm kind of pausing a lot in these videos. If I, if I edited my videos, I'd edit all these pauses out. But uh, And the reason for that, that it's important to make some kind of commitment, is that basically it forces you into doing something. <laughs> that's, that's all. <laughs> it forces you. It forces you into doing something. Not forces, but it gives you a, a real strong incentive. So don't wait around for everything to be aligned before you go ahead and, and get on with your life and do things. Don't wait for your plan to come together. Once again, go ahead and commit to making the change and work out your plan along the way and you'll have to change your plan maybe and everything else. But don't wait for the plan to be right. And lastly, make some kind of commitment towards it, whether that's financial whether that's time usually a, a financial commitment's pretty good or if it was a, because it's because people are so like emotionally attached to their money and stuff like that you know it's, it's a big deal for people to pay for something or give up their money exchange the money so that's three things and it's it's something i see with people looking to make a change they're always looking to do it in six months time and when I've worked in sales jobs, 
if you're trying to sell things in winter, people are people tell you they're going to buy it in the summer. And if you're selling something in the summer, they tell you they're going to do it in the winter. You know, it's always like six months away. <laughs> people are always, they're going to do it in six months' time because it makes so much more sense for them to do it then. And also financially, they need to work a few things out and just stuff that's, um, you know, just made up stuff. They just, they just don't want to make a decision, you know. Um, but but anyway, uh, you you want to start moving into things and and doing things. So uh, a lot of people get in touch about the fruit festival that I run. Sometimes people have like a hundred questions, and that's fine. It's not a problem. A lot of times, for some reason, the people that have the most questions end up not coming. I don't know why that that's always the correlation. The people that contact you the most are always the are almost always the people that don't come. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I thought that was something worth sharing because I was speaking to speaking to Ted Carr about that the other night. But it's it's um, anyway. That's all I wanted to put out there for the moment. We'll leave that for there.